Hello everyone, um, I'm Joel Trinsky with Christie Digital. Uh, I'm here to talk about our case studies that we have on our uh, public safety and control rooms applications. Um, so uh, what is Terra? Uh, Terra is an AV over IP SDVOE platform uh, for pro AV solutions. Uh, we use it um, a lot in the control room application because it does extension uh, matrix routing, we can do video walls, uh, it's uncompressed uh, video and extremely low latency. So it's, in, it's incredible uh, low latency. Um, why, do, why do we, uh, um, why SDVOE? Um, it really flattens designs for us. We don't have to have separate uh, systems. Uh, we don't have to have a separate KVM. We don't have to have separate extension or video wall uh, processors, where you can really flatten that design um, and, and we get it in a, in a less footprint, uh, lower impact on budget. So it, it's a great solution um, for, for controllers, which we're, I'm gonna talk about in our case studies here. Uh, we do extension. Uh, for, for Christie, we do a lot of transmitter to receiver, so it's point to point. Um, and it's really 4K6444, and really low latent and uncompressed. It's perfect for us uh, for extension modes. No compression, we love that. Uh, video switching, uh, using Terra like a matrix router, uh, it's a powerful capabilities. Um, you add a Terra controller and, a, and your 10 gig switch. Now I can route transmitter to receiver. I can scale, I can go native, um, great attribute and feature set of, of Terra. Uh, video walls is also uh, an incredible feature set. So when I stack receivers together in, a, in an array, I can now route video to each receiver or I can snap video to the grid of the array. So it's a great uh, way to do um, video wall image magnification for control rooms. Multi-viewer, um, we do multi-viewers on our receivers. I love using multi-viewers as confidence monitors in my design. Uh, it's, a, it's a great way for like that um, supervisor to have access to um, what he's seeing uh, for content coming in with a, with a side little multi-viewer. Of course, USB routing, which is an incredible feature. Uh, the ability to use keyboard and mouse is what I typically design in extremely low latent. It feels like I'm right at the workstation and it's it's just a spectacular way for, for users to use uh, USB routing. So uh, for Christy, we're really about the, the full solution uh, with using Terra or SDVOE. Um, we are, you know, end-to-end -end quality performance is our, is our goal for Christy. And uh, we've got, you know, the Terra is our pioneer product. But we've got other products that uses SDVOE, uh, and I'll get into that. Well, we have an SDVOE input card for our projectors. Uh, uh, it's an incredible way to just insert your your video or your SDV your fiber or or your uh, SFP uh, right into the uh, projector. You don't have to have a separate receiver. It doesn't require more of a footprint. You don't have to have separate power. It's video and communications directly into that projector. It's a, it's a really great feature set for us is to add input card on projectors. Uh, we recently added SDVOE input cards on our Pandora media servers. And uh, you see an image there of, of the card itself. So now we can ingest that, uh, that fiber or that SFP um, into, um, into an input card. So it's a, a source that I can now put run through our media servers and show up on as uh, uh, in, in as content in uh, Pandora box. So great, great for us to add that as well. Here's some case studies. Uh, this is a case study I did for an EOC here in the US. Um, really simple, uh, two by six uh, Christie panels. Each panel got a receiver. I had four separate rooms where they had the conference panel. It's basically conference rooms. Um, Dedicated eight audio zones, so I had receivers dedicated for that that go in the DSP. And the supervisor workstation. So um, what, we, what they get when they do that design is they can route video to every one of their panels. 
change it up, change recall layouts differently. Now they can snap that content if they want to. Now they're doing the two by two, keeping the aspect ratio, moving that around. These are just layout recalls in Terra for them on these on these video walls. Here's it just now we're filling the full video wall. It, it, it does snap to the aspect ratio, so you always got to be cognizant of that. But it's a, a great way to to route video to these panels in that video wall. The second case study is a little bit different. This is over multiple floors, so I've got a a two video walls that are upstairs on floor four for an operations center, and then I'll show you the next slide. There's a down uh, floor one. So in, in this particular one, I can route video to every one of my uh, to my video wall, uh, and also to the second video wall. Uplink, there's my switch bandwidth. That's important here because I've got these, uh, these switches trunked and I want to know, I have to make sure I have enough bandwidth to share content both downstairs and upstairs through the network capabilities. So once we get that, uh, that network patched, I can have KVM control here with the supervisor workstation. Here's another supervisor workstation that I have. Eight workstations sitting right in front of that video wall and they can sit there and, and they have total control for routing layouts to those that two by eight. Here's downstairs, okay? So downstairs, they have a two by 12 video wall. This is a little bit different here. So now I've got a receiver that is for the two by twos and they can route video like this. Supervisor workstation for that keyboard and mouse control. Seven workstations on the floor, and all that gets extended back into the matrix. They can route that anywhere on that video wall. A couple separate conference rooms right there. There's that bandwidth I called out again, so it, now I can share content. It's 160 uh, gigs between downstairs and upstairs, so I can share content. There's, up, it's a lot of content I can share both upstairs and downstairs. One feature that's very different for us in this particular application is that we added a spider. So when we added the spider, I've got Terra um, upstream and downstream of, of, the, of the spider. Spider's going to get you dynamic windowing. They wanted to have a dashboard capability, any source, anywhere, at any time. And spider can control Terra matrix. We have a protocol for that. So I wanted to call that out. Once you add a spider with Terra, and here's a kind of a quick diagram of what that looks like. Transmitters, Terra controller, your network switch, your receivers go into the inputs of the spider. Now I can route Terra transmitters or sources to the spider. Use our protocol, Christy Terra. Inside of our spider software, we can control, total control that matrix router. And now we get the capabilities of doing this type of, of experience uh, uh, for, the, for the customers when they want to have that dynamic windowing dashboard video wall. Case study number three, this is an LED wall with two spiders, Terra, play, they can play content, they can move that content anywhere in that LED. Forty-eight Terra receivers sit upstream of two spiders, so that's forty-eight channels of video that they wanted to see on that video all at one time, and they can do that with the Terra system up and downstream of the spider. Four workstations on the floor. You can have a collaboration space off to the side too, and those are all like tabletop inserts that they can ingest video into the Terra matrix and route anywhere they want to on that video. Wall. So at Christie, it's really about our full ecosystem. We can, you know, Terra transmitters, Terra receivers, our projector cards, uh, incredible. Uh, we can do LED. Our Pandora box has the input cards. Our flat panels, you can stack on into array and do video walls. And our Terra and our Spider X80 for the protocol, so we can control the matrix routing when that's desired for the application. Again, control rooms, they want to be able to scale easily, right? They want to be able to add quickly, right? So you put down a transmitter or receiver and you plug it into the network and you're rolling. Uncompressed video, highly detailed sensitive data in control rooms, right? So they need to see uncompressed video with that sensitive data for video walls. 
high resolution, 4K60, 444 per channel on, on, that, um, on our transmitters and receivers. Lowest latency possible, reduces delay in the video signal. I use that and it's an extremely great case for video conferencing, video, keyboard and mouse control. Uh, flexibility of the, of the system again, it's extending, matrix routing, I can do video walls, control, I can go up and down multiple floors or campus wide. Extremely flexible, great for designing. I'm talking mostly about control rooms here, but we use Terra and SDVOE and many other applications, fixed installs, arts and entertainment, corporate, rental and staging. Uh, well, thank you for your time. Uh, and uh, we're having a great Infocom here and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.